How many are in the house, mate? Hi, my... We've got another body down here. Of all the children, who was Dad's favorite? Our rubber would be least. She and he never saw eye to eye. Maybe it'd be easier if you just left. <laughs> Poor boy. <laughs> would you like me to come? It's OK, mate. That won't be necessary. Robin, one shot to the head. Margaret, one above the eye. Uh, Laniat, three shots. She probably survived the first. Stephen, one to the hand and one to the top of the head. Aroa, one to the forehead. Maybe the noise wakes her. She wonders what the fuck is going on. She gets up to have a look. The shooter's coming towards her, so she ducks back into the room. The shooter fires a shot that misses her. One shot, two holes, because the curtain was folded like this. Then he follows her into the room. The victim backs away, or maybe she's down on her knees um, praying for her life when he uh, shoots her at close range. All these flowers and cards and calls of support. It's been non-stop. They were all very loved. There's no doubt about it. It says something, doesn't it? That people care. Just goes to show that... I want to see the newspaper. Oh, love. Maybe leave it for a while. No. I want to see it. Take everything with a grain of salt. David, put it down. Come on. What did they look like? At peace. All were shot in the head. So it would have been quick. Except poor Stephen. They say he put up a hell of a fight. They're coming. They're coming. Now, David. They're coming. Now, now, don't start. They're coming. They lied to me. They were away. They, they knew. Who knew? The family, you mean? They knew. They were awake. They, they would have seen him. Just put a cans. Nothing to take away my family. And I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't stop them. What are you saying, David? What do you mean? Just, just, and dying. Who's dying, David? Your family. David, did you see your family dying? David, were you there? What? No. I only saw my, my mum and dad. They were already dead.
Don't leave me. You can't leave me. And I love you. Please, let us be together forever and ever. Yes. No, I can't. Why not? Because I'm a fish, just swimming around in this little Southland river. I love fish. <gasps> and chips. What? Oh, my God, I am a fish. <gasps> I love your scales. <gasps> Let's swim away together, <gasps> upstream. When we spawn, what then? At least we'll die in each other's fins. This isn't <gasps> Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but I'm fish. <laughs> this idea was <laughs> Charlotte? Oh my god, everyone, this is Charlotte. She's like my oldest friend from Bayfield. What are you doing here? <laughs> this year's been a bit of a write off. Too much putting, to be honest, so I thought I might as well enroll. Yeah, might as well. <laughs> so how's the family? Yeah, great. Mum and Dad, just the same. Dad's still principal down at Tiger Mouth. And Stephen's nearly 14, would you believe? <laughs> I see Laniette around sometimes. Oh, yeah, her and Mum weren't getting on, so she's flatting in Russell Street now. But um, David's coming to uni soon. I thought he would be finished by now. Yeah, he tried the whole zoology thing, but it didn't really work out. <laughs> but like they say, if at first you don't succeed... Says the overachiever. I am not. Once a head girl, always a head girl. Casey worked up, she'll bite someone. No, she won't. She's a good dog. <laughs> Casey! Leave her alone. She's fine. She's my dog. My dog, Sasha, was way better. Still never forgive the council for putting her down. Yeah, because she bit someone. Tell Uncle Bob about Queen of the Heather. Oh. <laughs> She's competing next year. We're very proud. My teacher suggested I sign up. First place is a trip to Sydney, so I thought, why not? <laughs> <laughs> and I can go with you. So. Oh, well, I'd have to win first. <laughs> you can take the lassie out of Scotland, but you can't take Scotland out of the lassie. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you just hate Adela? She's so good at everything she does. Oh, it's fun. Well, I'm doing the summer Shakespeare. You should come. The Tempest, mm -hmm. you know, like, um, we are such stuff as dreams are made on. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Yeah. Yeah. Belt be gone. Belt be gone. Say to be clear. Belt be gone. Great. How's that? <laughs> there we go. Ready? <laughs> you mean like this? Oh, that's the one. You look <laughs> just like David. Oh, God. Perfect. <laughs> ho, ho, ho. Here she is. Lani, it's just taking photos for my Queen of the Heather application. Oh, yeah. Reminds me I've got to get those papers and photos from Scotland when I'm at your grandmother's. Yeah, oh, I like it. Inside. Mind your head. Oh. It's not like he's even going to be here for Christmas. Thanks, Mum. You're okay. Dad's still paying for your rent, isn't he? 
Yeah, but it's not like I can actually afford to have a life. It's not my fault if I have to... What? You don't want to know. <laughs> In fields where they lay keeping their sheep. Ma! Uh, Stephen! Oh. Mm. Stop! What have they got? It's not funny. Can we open our presents now? Oh, maybe just wait for Mum. Yeah, we've got to wait for Mum. Okay. It's all right. Thanks, sis. Oh, it's OK. Merry Christmas. Thanks. <laughs> oh, who's this one for? Uh, that's for Dad. Just leave it there. Hey, is Mum awake yet? I, I took her a coffee. Well, uh, this is for you. It's perfume. It's my favourite. Oh, thanks. Mum, you getting up? We're doing presents. No. Not today. But you have to. What about Christmas lunch? I'm not, I'm not getting up into the atmosphere of the Arua. We're not clear and it's, it's making me ill. You and David need to sort it. But that's not fair. Dad's not even here. Just don't shout at me! You're being so unreasonable. Why can't we be a normal family for once? Apologise. I mean it, Arawa. You say that you're sorry. It's Christmas. Who can tell me what today is? going out. Well, who with? Some friends from my drama group. I can take you. It's okay. I'm already getting picked up, so don't worry about it. Have you talked to mum yet? It's been weeks, Arawa. It's not my fault. That's my ride. Bye. Amazing. Where am I? A rubbish dump. A rubbish dump. Oh, look! What a lovely used nappy. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, I'm a uh, princess. The clown. A clown. A clown. <laughs> well, we're all clowns here, aren't we? Oh, well, we are. We are. Yes. That was marvellous. Well done. Oh, well, it wasn't just me. <laughs> You're going to make a wonderful teacher. Your whole future's ahead of you. Don't let anyone try and stop you. Thanks, Dad. 
<laughs> anyway, I should... I, I can uh, give you a lift if you don't mind waiting for a bit. Uh, I mean, it's OK. My friends, you know. <laughs> I'm doing the washing. There's nothing to eat. Well, if you help with the dishes, then I'll go to the supermarket. Ah, uh, wrong. Do the dishes. No. Stephen! You should do it because I say so. Yeah, because that works. <sighs> the devil gets in, you know. When we think bad thoughts, it makes our bodies unwell. How does that feel? So good. <laughs> Was there something you wanted to say to me? Sorry for yelling at you. Wow. That's all right then. Its shoulder's always been a bit dicky. Mum. Hmm? What are we going to do about David? How do you mean? He's being such a pain. Especially with Stephen, always trying to boss him. He tries and acts like Dad, but he's not. <sighs> Your father's not much chop either. Why don't you just... Why don't you just get a divorce? And lots of people do. Your father won't agree. Why not? He's hardly ever here anyway. And when he is, it's just... I'll have a word with David. This is the fourth time, David. The fourth time I've had to talk to you about the state of the house. The the untidiness of everything in the, in the garden. And there's no point in blaming others. There's no caring or giving up there on the other side of my curtains, and I am so angry at the continued selfishness. Casey, come on. Come on, Casey. Come on, Casey. Come on. That you got there? It's my report for Teachers College. Well, this is outstanding. A's. Attitude, excellent. Well done. You can't tell Mum. Oh, she'll want to know. Yeah, but she'll tell David, and he's already stressed about going back to varsity. A's. Well, we could take turns the study group. My place, and then other ones. Oh, why don't we just use the library? <laughs> because we can't have pizza. <laughs> My place is kind of difficult. <laughs> library works for me. We can get pizza. I might catch you guys up later. David. Hey. Oh, hey. How's your day going? Great. Um, my music teacher's impressed with me. Very impressed. She said that I'm so far ahead of all the other students that I probably shouldn't even be here, so. Is that your boyfriend? Nah, he's just my friend. <laughs> you know, guys only want one thing. I know him from youth opera. And I thought he was nice in a goofy kind of way. But then my boyfriend told me this story. In their final year at Bayfield, David told him about this girl who lived on the next street over. He said he could 
rape her and get away with it if he uses paper and as a cover story. Okay, that's creepy. Oh, come on. Oh, they were like 17. Which is probably just stupid boy talk. Except there was like a book with times written down and everything. Mm. Do us a favor, don't say anything to Ottawa. She really cares about him. Still got an hour and a half for classics if you wanted to go to the library and oh, study or something. I mean, we can meet for lunch most days. You're free. I just I have a study group. Also, um, you won't have to drive me anymore, fingers crossed. I'm going for my license. Why would you want to do that? So you don't have to drive me. Well, I don't mind. It's just something I want to do, you know? I want my independence too, OK? You don't even have a car. I can use one while I serve up. Well, not while I'm using it most of the time. You can use your bike sometimes. Stay pit. I'll see you at home. Maybe you can get your boyfriend to give you a ride. I wouldn't have kids if she knew we were doing this, but I don't care. I'm a fan too. I hear it, but I don't believe it. Hey, I can be bad if I want to be. <laughs> so you and Matt? What's his story? He's my best friend, even if David doesn't approve. And? He's my best friend, and I love him to bits. And? <gasps> Sex always makes things too complicated. Oh, not always. Okay. <laughs> My parents used to all the time back in PNG. And we um, could hear them doing it. Oh, and the door would stop. be open. Oh, and yeah. we'd sneak in and listen. <laughs> shh, shh. Mmm. <laughs> Gross. Mm. Did you hear a car? Relax. I'm the one smoking, not you. I know. Just, David will be home soon, so. So? OK, so he's got a gun. <laughs> uh, yeah, but it's only meant for rabbits, but sometimes he just walks around the house holding it. it kind of freaks me out. What's he going to do? I don't know. Are you serious? No. <laughs> This family's so friggin' full of secrets that you don't want to know. I wanted to see if she was free to babysit Saturday. I dare say. Have you been away? Sorry? Haven't seen you around lately. No. I've been in bed. Six weeks. You should try it. It, oh, it gives such a fresh perspective. Uh, I wanted to say uh, about your guttering. Wayne's mentioned it to Robin. When it rains, it pours off your roof. What about it? It's eroding the bank by our shed. Well, it's... It's all coming down. The house, I mean. We're building a new one. Spick and span. I know, you've been planning it for a while. You'll mention it to Arawa? About the babysitting? Hmm. 
Oh, I, I saved the liver and kidneys for Casey. Please don't. It makes her breath stink. Hey, have you done the washing? Where's all my stuff? Well, I don't know. David, I'm going to be late for work. Maybe it got mixed in with my stuff. Yeah, I'll go take a look. No, it's fine. I'll go. Uh, Arawa. No, uh... God, David, do these look like yours? You've got one job in this house. That is not true. And you're never home these days. Excuse me? Things are going to be changing with the new house. Oh, who says I'll even be here, then? You're not going anywhere. Good idea. <laughs> Have you got pillows? Yeah. And what about blankets or sheets? Lots of those. Oh, that's what we need. <laughs> hey, kids, time to go brush your teeth. Aww. Hey, if you hurry, you might have time to build a fall before bed. Yay! Yay. OK. <laughs> you are so good with them. <laughs> oh, come on, Wayne, we'll be late. I was talking to your mum. She said that plans are coming along nicely for the new house. Yeah, yeah, it's going to be really amazing. <laughs> going to have a dome for watching the stars and even a water feature in the garden where we can just sit and think or whatever. It's going to be really cool. Hmm. Well, it sounds very nice. <laughs> <laughs> started with John Bain Mackay, founder of the Bain clan. Started with the Cullens, don't you mean? We were early settlers in Dunedin. The Bains weren't far behind. Yeah. We have a long history of service with the Presbyterian ministry. Well, my speech is meant to be personal. You know, about what my Scottish heritage means to me. Well, Marvellous. Let's hear it. Oh, it's not ready. Anyway, Rose Campbell will win. She's been Scottish dancing since she was five. Well, I'm sorry there wasn't a lot of Scottish dancing to be had when you were growing up in New Guinea. Well, you had some wonderful square dances. You're not helping, Robin. There. You're going to be the belle of the ball. <laughs> and that Rose Campbell is very plain. It's not a beauty contest, Mum. Do you think it's a bit... It's perfect. Never be ashamed of your body. It's as God intended. It's the new Wonder Bra. It'll take some getting used to. Mum! Wonder Bra! What's going on? Wonder Bra, David. Arawa has balls to attend for the competition. Her sponsors donated these. She looks beautiful. Oh, uh, guess what? The breakfast they're having at Eunice Same's place, I'm going to. Oh, I think it's just for contestants and sponsors. Yeah, 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 I know. Um, I rang up Eunice and one of the chaperones couldn't make it, so I'm taking his place. So we can go together. Yeah, that's really neat. Now, you boys can leave, because we have another dress to do. David likes to be involved, that's all. Yeah, I know, but sometimes it's a bit much. Now you won't leave me alone. Oh, well, he's your brother. He cares about you. Hey, Mum. Hmm? How would you feel about me getting a flat? I don't mean now, not right away, but um, maybe next year? God, 
told me this was your year to make the most of your abilities. Mm -hmm. It doesn't mean you can turn around and ruin everything. Um, I, I didn't mean to upset you. Maybe I should just tear up all my plans and designs and drawings and buy a little apartment for me and Stephen and leave the rest of you to your selfishness. Oh, this is your father. He's infected us all with Bell. Oh, I need to clear the room. I need to clear all the rooms. Hmm? Oh, you have to come skiing with us this semester break. I'll try. <laughs> oh, you have to. It's so boring being stuck in Wanaka with just my family. Oh, poor you. <laughs> oh, that's just rude. <laughs> Um, I might catch you guys up later. <laughs> but we're having lunch in the cafeteria. Yeah, but I should probably sit with David. <laughs> He's big enough and ugly enough to take care of himself. He can make his own friends. Oh, pretty lady, join us. Have a beer. <laughs> Come on. You play your cards right, you and I could do a bit of business together. Darren! Does she even know what we're talking about? I bet she doesn't. She's done a few jobs before. She's a real go on my sister. Ask anyone. Ah. Relax. We were just getting used to it. Don't worry about it. Oh, make yourself at home. Um, I went by Rigoletto's. You said you don't work there anymore? Ah, uh, they gave me the boot. Um, it wasn't my fault. What does Dad know? You have to come home, Lani. People talk, stuff gets around. Darren and me. We're just mates. I know what he is, Lani. What do you think Mum and Dad would feel if they knew about it? It would break their hearts. It breaks my heart. It's all right for you. I mean, <laughs> you're the golden girl. Everyone loves Arwa and. I'm the fucker. Hey, and... hey, I wasn't saying that. I know you're ashamed of me. I'm but... not. I care about you. Why? Such a loser. No, you're not. You're my favorite sister. <laughs> I'm your only sister. <laughs> you used to be so sweet and happy. Even if your room was a pigsty. Hey! Something's never changed. Hey! <laughs> hey! The computer and stuff. Someone could steal it, so be keeping it locked when I'm not here. Right, if you got the car keys. Where are you going? Just to the pictures. Who with? On my own. I'll drop you off. Hi. 
Oh. Oh, hi, Arla. <laughs> Is Lonnie at here? Oh, no, just me. <laughs> OK. I haven't seen much of her lately. Oh, yeah, she went a bit wild for a while there, but um, she's actually working with me at the Museum Cafe now, so... Oh, that's so good to hear. Uh, I'll drop by for a coffee, definitely. <laughs> anyway... Oh, do you want a lift home? It's OK. I can get the bus. Well, well David's picking me up, and we can give you a ride. Honestly. Oh, you'd be doing me a favour, <laughs> please. Are you OK? It's not that bad. <laughs> oh, here he is now. Are you coming? If you like. Thank you. <laughs> I totally end with give her a lift. Hi. Now, the moment you've all been waiting for. Our judges have made their decision. And a very difficult one it was too. What a lovely and talented group of young ladies we have competing this year. <laughs> all right. Fourth place. The McNichol Cup goes to Arawa Columbine. Hey. Well done, Arlo. And third place goes to Lisa Rawling. Well done. Thanks. <laughs> I told you Rose Campbell would win. You were way better. It was rigged! <laughs> that was just the Scottish dancing, but it was just fun to be a part of it, you know? Yeah, well, not as fun as actually winning. But... Yes, David. <laughs> Don't be mean. Dad. Hello. What are you doing here? Have you been here the whole time? I thought you were on camp with Lani. Oh, miss your triumph? Never. It was a lovely speech. Lovely. I was very moved. Not good enough, though. <laughs> oh, well, it's better to have tried. Your mother's not... I don't know if she had another asthma attack. We were actually just about to go get some coffee, so... Oh, yeah, well, I'll uh, leave you to it, and... Uh... No, I'm, I'm glad you came. And, uh, actually, I told my friends I'd catch up with them afterwards, so... See you guys later. How are you feeling now, David? Uh, better, thanks, Auntie, yeah. Oh, that's good to hear, isn't mm -hmm. it? Yes, yes. Uh, we do need to talk. The subject of the funeral, the funerals, has come up, and, of course, you don't have to be involved if you don't want to. Oh, no, no, I do. I absolutely do. I already told the lady at Victim support that. All right. Well, um... 
I'll need a new black top for a start. No, no, don't do that. Death isn't a bad thing. Not in our family. The funerals should be a celebration. Sunday would be good. It was our family day. Well, we were thinking it might be nice if you accompany your grandmother. She's quite frail, but she'd love to attend and... No. No. No, that won't work. Sorry, I, I don't understand. I should be walking behind the coffins by myself. And then inside the church, I should be singing a solo for Mum. Alongside the male choir. Something... Something from Fores Requiem. And obviously, for Lani, we should be playing Who Wants to Live Forever by Queen. It was her favourite song. Um, I've actually been making a funeral tape. Do you, you want to listen? Yeah. I think Lani, it should be wearing dark green or blue. Why aren't you crying? I think Arawa should be wearing her ball gown dress, the, uh, the blue one. And also her wonder bra with her gold earrings on All as right well. now. And, and it, was, it was also her 20th birthday this weekend. So we have to have a party. That's enough. That's enough for now. We can talk about all of this later. But I know exactly what I want. Yes. Seem quite sure. Yeah. I've had a lot of time to think about it. Funerals and... We talked about it as a family, what we wanted and things. Except for Stephen, he wasn't really interested. Yeah. He's always a fighter. He's a good kid. Fighter, though. We didn't go easy, so. David. You want to know something? If Dad did it, then... then I could never forgive him. Uh, night, everyone. Night. Oh, night, David. Sleep well, love. Yeah. He's always been a bit of an odd one. The detective said I should call him if we have any worries or concerns. Mm. Well then. What do we got? I found this. The leaders. Where was it? On the floor of the youngest boys' room. Christ. It's taken, what, three days to find it? Well, you saw the state of the room. David said his own glasses were away being repaired. So why do you reckon there was another bed frame in his room and a matching lens on Stephen's floor? According to his aunt, David's got all kinds of crazy plans for the funeral. Wants to cremate his parents, bury his siblings, the place left for him. The family unhappy, but he won't be talked out of it. If I'm being honest, uh, the boss wants us to arrest him before the funeral to avoid a fuss, but I'd like a bit more time. 